Hey guys, this is Steve over at Skill of Strength, and today we're going to be talking about crawling. Um, the crawl is a core exercise that we use with our sports performance kids, um, and it, I also tend to use it a lot um, for athletes that need a lot of scap stability and shoulder stability. Um, I like it for that purpose because we don't put the shoulder in a very compromised position. We're not really uh, putting it in a situation where the risk for injury is that high, uh, but the reward is great and it's also really great for the core and pelvic stability as well. Okay, you start the crawl down on all fours. Okay, so we have our hands directly underneath our shoulders and our knees directly underneath our hips. Okay, in this position, you want your knees about hip width apart and your hands about shoulder width apart. Okay. From here, bring your toes towards your body and you're going to actually round your back a little bit. Okay? In the crawl, for this purpose, we don't want to have a big arch in your back. Instead, round your back and think about bringing your rib cage down towards your belt line. So we're shortening that distance. Okay? Once you're in this position, to have your knees just barely up off the ground. It should be really hard to tell if your knees are off the ground or not. They're just barely hovering. Okay? After that, you're just going to step with an opposite hand, opposite foot. A little step maybe five, six inches. A okay, small step, then opposites again. Okay, the whole time, we're trying to keep our hips and our shoulders level, and we're preventing any rotation in our hips. Okay, so again, if we set up on all fours, we're taking little tiny steps, trying to keep our hips nice and stable as we're crawling through. 